What's up guys, my name is Ace, and I've been playing the crap out of the beta lately, and tons of people are asking me, what is your favorite gun in Infinite Warfare so far? Now normally, for those of you guys that watch my streams, and have been watching my streams for a while, anytime somebody asks me what my favorite gun is in Black Ops 3, for instance, I always say I don't have one because I like to use as much variety as possible. I love variety. There's no one gun that I just love using more than everything else because that gets boring if you use the same gun over and over. And I'm still feeling that way. I, I don't want to use the same gun over and over again, but there is one gun in particular that has so far stood out to me in this game, and that is the RPR, but not in SMG mode, in assault rifle mode. So for those of you guys that don't know, the RPR is classified as an SMG, but it is a hybrid gun. If you hold triangle, it will actually convert it to an assault rifle mode. And if you don't have a sight on it already, if you don't put like a red dot sight on it, it will also give you a little bit of a different sight. So this is like the Ripper from Ghost. It's like the Ripper 2.0. And I am loving the assault rifle mode on this. It has a very good three shot kill range. Almost every kill that I get is going to be a three shot kill. Maybe even every kill I get has been a three shot kill. I haven't really noticed any four shot kills yet. But then again, I haven't really been challenging people like really far across the map. I like to keep my gunfights with this at about mid range, as you can see throughout this gameplay here. And it absolutely dominates at those ranges. The reason for this is that three shot kill range and almost no recoil. I do have four grip equipped on this particular class that I'm using right now in the gameplay. And as you can see, recoil never seems to be a problem for me at all while using this, which is just excellent. Another thing I want to mention is you can unlock a pretty cool variant for this. I unlocked the modular variant of it, which gives me a random attachment every time I spawn. So my first life, I remember it gave me a stock and I, I don't I didn't really pay attention to all the other lives, what it was giving me. But it tells you right when you spawn in on a new life, uh, which of the attachments it's giving you. And it also gives you stability, which decreases recoil. So for those of you guys that haven't tried the assault rifle mode on the RPR yet, Please go and try it out. Try to keep your gunfights at sort of mid to somewhat longer ranges. It isn't completely useless up close, but it is a relatively slow fire rate three shot kill. So therefore it is going to be outclassed by a lot of SMGs up close. But then again, if you know you're about to get into some up close gunfights, swap over to that SMG modes and you'll do very, very well up close. Or if you're just really confident with your shot, you can stay in assault rifle mode because it is still a three shot kill. So as long as you're accurate and hitting all three shots, you'll still be competing with those SMGs up close. So if you guys liked the Man of War or the Can 44 from Black Ops 3, you should absolutely love the assault rifle mode of this gun. So I'd love to know in the comment section below, what is your favorite gun in the Infinite Warfare beta so far? Keep in mind, my favorite gun is always open to changing. This is my favorite gun at the moment. This is the one I'm really enjoying, the one I feel most comfortable with in most situations. But a little while ago, it was actually the ERAD that was my favorite gun, and I absolutely love that one. So, opinions can change, and who knows, maybe by the end of the beta, this won't be my favorite gun anymore, and I'll want something completely different. We really don't know at this point. Let me know in the comment section below which one's your favorite so far. Now, since I like this gameplay, I just think I'll let it play out for you guys, let you guys get the full experience of the game for those of you guys that don't actually have the game, so you guys get all the sounds and everything without my annoying voice talking over the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you guys next time.